Study the following information carefully and answer the questions given below. Now, in a certain code language, some statements are coded as follows. Flag, Duke, Door, Spink is coded as, you know, percentage 15K, copyright 24S, C, 9E, asterisk 11G, and so on. There are three other statements. Paper, ranks, bank, talk, bag, done, spent, year, fun, rung, rose. Now, we have to identify the logic behind this coding. You have to decipher the logic and then answer the questions. Questions would be very easy to solve once you know the logic. Like, like for example, the first question you see here is, what is the code of Duke? So you have to identify the code of Duke. Similarly, they may give us a new word, which is not there in the whole list here at all. Right? And then there's one more question. The code percentage 17N denotes which of the following word. Right? So two questions here. Let's understand what's the logic. Now see, there is no way that you know, there is no step-by-step -step process which can always give you the logic behind such questions. All you have to do is trial and error, right? And that's, that's based on strong observation skills, right? If you can observe and find out what the logic could be, or even if you have one clue which is helping you decide the logic, you may be able to answer some of the questions. For example, I think the first thing that one can observe here is, See, each code has got a symbol, a number, and a letter. A symbol, number, letter. Symbol, number, letter. Symbol, number, letter. This is a new pattern question. And we have discussed many such questions actually. This is another one. Now, either try to find out the logic behind the number or the logic behind the letter. The logic behind the symbol is going to be very abstract. There's, there's no logic as such. It's, it's all prefixed. So what is prefixed cannot be really, really deciphered during the exam but maybe you can identify how they arrive at the number for each code and how they arrive at the letter for each code right so the letters are k s e g k s e g now find out what is k s e g here in these words is there any relationship between k s e g used in the codes and the words here k s e g what i observe is k s e and g are the last letters of each of these words so could be that we are just picking up the last letter of the word in the code. For us to be sure, I mean, to be sure about it, just check the remaining statements as well. Like here, it is K K R S. If I see, we have K K R and S. Yes, it works. G E N R. We have got G E N R. Yes, N G E. We have got N G N E. So clearly the letter used in the code is nothing but the last letter of the word. Now using this maybe you will be able to answer the questions. For example, you don't have to go for the next step like finding out the number or finding out the symbol. The logic behind the number and logic behind the symbol. This itself can give you the answer. So just check it. For example, you look at this. What is the code for Duke? Now the word Duke's last letter is E. So the code should have E in it. Yeah, star 9E, copyright 9E, hashtag 9E, all three have got E in it. But then, since the word Duke is in the first statement here, its code should also be there in the first statement. And the only code which has got E in it in the first statement is copyright 9E. This is K, S and G. So I can straight away link Duke to copyright 9E and my answer is option B. I will not be able to eliminate any option here, but since we directly know the code for Duke is copyright 9E, I can take option B as the answer. Right? Let's look at the next question as well and then we will try to, you know, work on the other logic. Like how, what's the logic behind the number and what's the logic behind symbol, if there is anything. So next one here is, the code percentage 17N denotes which is the following word. Percentage 17N. Now clearly the letter used here is N. So I can say that the last letter of the word should be N. Last letter of the word should be N. Here you see, smart options. All the options end with N. So that method will not help, which means we will now have to identify the remaining part of the logic, which is the logic behind the number. How are these numbers arrived at 10, 10, 17, 22, or 15, 24, 9, 11, and so on. Let me give you the uh, logic behind this. Like for example, if you see Duke has been coded as copyright 9E. We know how this E has been arrived at. What is E? This E is this E last letter of the word is used as the letter in the code. How did we get 9? How do we get 9? 9, simple. The number of letters are 4 and the position of E is 5. So here this 9 represents what? Number of letters 4, which is the number of letters, right? 
Duke has got four errors plus five, which is the E's position. That's what gives us nine. If you want, you can verify for the other words also. For example, I know that uh, the code for flag is uh, asterisk 11 G because it is G and this also has G. Now, how do we get 11? Flag has got four letters, one, two, three, four letters and the position of G is seven. Four plus seven is 11. So you can check for any letter. For example, dance. Can you tell me what should be the number for dance? Dance has got five letters in it. And the position of the last letter e is also five. Five plus five, ten. So the code for dance should have ten in it. Okay, so ten is there in two of the codes. But then the code of dance should end with e. So I can say dance is coded as copyright ten e. What's the code for let's say rung, r-u-n-g. G is seventh position. And there are four letters, seven plus four, eleven. So now, based on the number also, I can find out the codes. Are you getting it? Suppose you want the position of uh, paper. How do you get the position of paper? I mean, the number of paper, number in the code for paper. R is the 18th letter and paper has got 5 letters. 18 plus 5, 23. 18 plus 5, 23. Now, if you are wondering, how would you know that this is the logic behind the coding and decoding question asked here? Let me be very honest. I did not get this. The one who framed this question told me that this is the logic. And that's why I'm able to explain you. That's the reason I always say the only way to solve questions from coding and decoding is trial and error. And that's the reason I always say you better skip these questions if you're unable to crack the logic in the first 15, 20, 30 seconds. You're getting it? Now you understand what I mean when I say skip? Because there is no guarantee that you'll be able to get the logic. How did I get it? I did not get it. Let me tell you, this 4 plus 5 and all, I will not be able to beat my head and get this logic. That 9 is equal to 4, which is the number of letters in the word, plus 5, the position of E. No, 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 no. I can't do this. It's, it's out of my capacity. The one who framed this question told me that this is the logic he has used. And paper setter can use any logic. Logic ki kami na. Infinite logics are there. You can use whatever you want to. That's the reason. You better skip it if you're unable to crack it. But since these days, these questions are being asked for 5 marks, it becomes important that you try it out. And like I said, most of the times, by identifying the logic behind the letter or the logic behind the number, you will be able to answer at least some questions, if not all. Right? Now, again, if you ask me, how do we, sh how should we finally realize that D is, or uh, the code for Duke is copyright? Simple. D, they have prefixed. Wherever there is D, it should be starting with copyright. You can check that. Like, for example, doors also starts with copyright, you see. For D, the code is copyright. Dance, you see, dance, the code was copyright any, right? Why? Because D has been prefixed as copyright. Now, who will know D has been fixed as prefixed as copyright? Only the one who has framed this question will know. Others who have cracked the logic behind number and letter will know. You, you're getting it. So it is near to impossible in the exam to get such logics given in, in, the, in the limited time basically. Okay. Anyway, let's, let's solve the next one also. Right? So look at the next question. The code for percentage 17n denotes the following words. Now percentage 17n, if it is a part of this whole set, I will be easy able to answer the question. Otherwise, I will say cannot be determined because n is the last letter of the word. Fun has got n, run has got n, pen has got n and there are some 1 million other words which have got n in the end. I can't decide it. But then check. Is percentage 17 n a part of this? Yes, percentage 17 n is here. Now, if I, if I look at the number 17, what should I know? See, 17 should be equal to number of letters plus the position of n. Position of n is what? 14. Yes or no? Which means I can say that the number of letters in the word should be 3. That is for sure. So by looking at percentage 17 n, the only thing I know is the word will have 3 letters and the last letter of the word will be n. All 3 satisfy. So strictly answer cannot be answer should be cannot be determined, can't be determined. But then the same code percentage 17 n has been used here. 
So you should try it out. Percentage 17 and the three letter word that we have here in the respective statement is pen. Ends with N, N. Three letters plus 14, 17. Yes. And maybe P is percentage. I mean, when you work further, you will know that, okay, P is always coded as percentage. So answer here is option C. But suppose I say uh, the, the code is, let's say, for example, uh, you know, let me think of a symbol. The code is copyright 17N. Then what's the answer? Cannot be determined. Why cannot be determined? Here again, I can only say that the word will end with N. The word will have three letters because 17 is 14 plus 3. 14 is the position of n, so 3 should be the number of letters. But I do not know what is cap. Cap could be for any letter. And I will also not know what is the middle letter. You getting it? So if the code does not belong to the set of codes here, answer should be cannot be determined. If it belongs to the set of codes here, then you will try and find it out. You will try to find it out.